Things are just falling left and right. Anyway, hey, um, greetings. Welcome to another episode of This Damn House. Um, so what we have here is a picture frame. And uh, it's got like this like really nice thin cardboard on the back. And if you can take a close look, these right here are the little hangers, right? What I want to do is take this hanger here, this little hook, and I'm going to put it over there. And I'm going to use a rivet gun. And I'm going to show you how to do this with a rivet gun. So the whole purpose of this is to reuse what's there so that we don't create any additional waste. And um, I have some... I'm going to drill a hole. It's a little interesting, fun process. You'll see. I'll have to drill a hole to attach a piece of metal to the other side because uh, rivets, when they pull together, they uh, they take a lot of... Um, they use a lot of, like... They're really strong, is what I'm trying to say. And it's going to pull a hole right through this, like, cardboard, like, paper-ish thing. I don't know what the heck it is. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And uh, let's get started. What I need to do is to orientate myself to what's the top of this image. So I'm going to mark the back of this with this marker here. I'm going to just go like that. And I'm just using that mark to help me know how to, what the where to place this back. It probably doesn't really matter because it is a rectangle, but you know, why not? It doesn't hurt. So that's the corner there. I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna have to pull this off because I have to turn it around so this hook faces upwards. So I think, so, so th that's what the client suggested, but I don't, I don't think you need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway because that's what they want. What I'm gonna do now is gonna take this off so that way I can get access to the cardboard itself. So I'm just going to go like that, loosen up all those. Probably going to use my chisel instead. So a little faster. So here we go. So now we have all those up, what I'm going to do is uh, take this frame out here. This, it looks like it's like a cardboard mixed with particle board, but it definitely feels like a little harder than cardboard, so I'm not really sure what it is. Other than that, I think it is cardboard. Okay, and that's it. So now it's apart. I'm going to go ahead and start to... Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to take these out, so I'll give you the close-up of how I'm going to... It's really simple. They're not really attached um, in any difficult way. I'm going to measure this distance here because I'm going to replicate it on the other side. And uh, let's just see what we get over here. Okay, this seems to be uh, two and a half inches in. So we have two and a half inches in and back out a little bit so you can get the view of the height All right. so, here. so from the top to here is going to be let's see what we have This looks like uh, 11 and a half. No, it's not 11 and a half. It's 11 and a half. And 11 and 6 sixteenths. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark it on the other side and see what we do. So here we go. Back up. Get it 
Here on this side, we'll mark it. Actually, uh, eleven and three eighths. Okay, so we have eleven and six sixteenths from here to here, uh, from the top down. Oops, let's see if you can see. Me. Right, so from here to here, and then we're gonna go in about uh, two and a half. So let's do let's do that two and a half right here. So. This thing is so shiny, all that light, I can't even see properly. There we go. One, two, yep, two and a half right here. Okay, so that's it right there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, once we get that marked off, which it is right now, I'm just going to uh, use this as my reference point right here. And that's where the top and bottoms of this is going to be. Okay, so it's going to end up looking like this. Cool. Just like that. Hope you can see it. This is just... Oh, there it is. Okay. So that is going to be the orientation of the other hinge. So I'm using the line right here. This is the two and a half in and the eleven and uh, three eighths down. And this is going to be the top of the actual hinge itself. So I drew a, I don't know, just ignore that top part there. This is just going to be where the, uh, the, the hinge itself goes. It's going to be like these two holes like that, something like that. Okay. I want to pull this off. It shouldn't be too hard. They're, they're kind of, uh, the best way I would describe it, uh, there are they're like pushed in with them some teeth. Not hard to get off. We can get it off right now. Really nice, easy. Let's see how easy we can get this off. Oops, looking a little hard. Let's try this. Famous last words, nice and easy. I like it. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and give that another try with a different, bigger screwdriver. So this might be a little bit of an overkill, but I don't like the fight. So I'm going to go use this uh, 3 16 bit right here. And let's see if that, oops, that makes my life any easier. Drill it out just a little bit. Alright. Let's see if that helps him get it out. So. Alright, cool. There you go. So, that's it. I just loosened it up a little bit, make it, a, it's like a relief drill. And if you look closely, you can see that this has little tiny teeth. Um, let's see how close it can get, so you can see it. Let's just 
see those teeth right there right where my thumb is those are what's that's pressed into this cardboard like thing but what happens when you take them out these things are super loose and they never ever seem to stick back in and just stay there so that's why I can't really reuse them I had to use the rivet gun to, to hold it in place I'm gonna do the same to this top uh, let's see how we can do that. keep that in frame let's make sure you can see all right great so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill that out again just a little drill here Good. So that's it again. That's drilled out. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, prep for the other parts. I have to go in a little bit further because the two and a half right here is going to mess things up. If I line it up here and try to put this down, uh, that's what's happening. I'm uh, not really sure. Because when I drill it out, see, I'll, try, I'll try to explain it to you. Okay, so. When I drill this out right here like that, um, actually that might not too, be too bad. Never mind. I think this will be fine. Yeah, because I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, here's my here to here is eleven sixteenths. It's two and a half over right here. Let's verify that for you. Yeah. Worry about that arrow right there. This hour right here. And this will just slide right into the hole. Because I'm gonna have to drill the hole anyway, so this works out fine. And then uh line that up. Oops. That's going to be where I'm going to drill my other hole right there for the rivet, okay? I'm going to do the other side. Here's the other side. Not to say like you didn't, you could figure that out on your own, but uh, okay, cool. So I have that there. Just going to go ahead and So those are my holes. I'm going to drill out those holes. I'm going to take this rivet here and match this diameter up because I need to make sure I can go through that hole. So this slides right into this just like that. And this rivet is 5 30 seconds. It's also 4 millimeter in Raiden. So we have that goes in really well. And you might have to uh, just push these open a little bit more because that little tab in the back gets a little compressed. It's hard to slide it in all the way easily. So let's go ahead and open that up, those holes a little bit. So like that, that one's easy. And so is that one, okay? So that's the river we're gonna use, five, 30 seconds. Let's see if we can so you can just see that there. Mm, look at that, transparent. So easy to see, I know. All right, so that's it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drill out some holes now. What I have is a piece of sacrificial wood that I place underneath for drilling because I don't wanna drill into the table itself. So I have my bit in there. That bit is the... Uh, it's uh, one uh, three sixteenths. So I'm gonna go at the holes right here. So it's not really difficult to do. By the way, this stuff is called MDF. 
and it is um, phase two MDF. So if you were wondering, it's not cardboard. It's definitely not particle board. I mean, it's some sort of particle. It's really compressed. You can see it. But it's MDF. Just in case you wanted to know what it was. Or should I say what it is? When does the present become the past? You're watching this now, so it's the present to you, but it's going to be the past to me by the time you see it. So that's a fun little conversation, isn't it? Anyway. Anyway, so here we go. I'm um, going to put the holes in. Right here. So that's that. Now we're gonna drill. We have to do some cutting and drilling, so it's gonna be it's gonna get really uh really fun. Well, more fun to me. I need to get the diameter of uh, this rivet because I need to drill into some metal, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a uh, micrometer here, and uh, let's see what we get. Okay, this is a uh, three point nine four. So that's that, and then I'm gonna use this. I have a feeling it's 5:30 seconds here, so let's take a shot and see what we have here. The diameter of that's gonna be. Yep, 3.92, and the rivet is uh, 3.9 millimeters. So. This 3.92 uh, is going to be a good way to go. All right, so let's go ahead and zero this out. Turn it off. Don't forget to turn it off. So the battery will die. And we now know that I'm going to use this 5.30 seconds metal drill bit to uh, drill my holes into the uh, metal. I took the uh, this little, you know, washer and. Uh, I cut it, I drew lines across it in quarters like that. And uh, what I did to, I used this marker here. You've probably seen this before. It marks on any surface oil, even marks on oily surfaces. It's uh, pretty cool. Now that's marked, I'm gonna go ahead and just, just gonna kind of clamp it down like here. I'm going to drill into this with the metal drill bit here, but before I do that, I have to take my uh, hole punch here and just make some holes. hole punch really amazing tool like uh, once you own one of these it's gonna be hard to like go back to another one that you have to do manually so when you're in really tight spaces this is the best thing to use so all it does is just it's just set up a starter hole so when you start drilling you can uh, you'll have something to anchor down onto so I've got that in place I'm gonna put my drill bit in Anyway, this is a 5.30 second drill bit for my 4 millimeter, um, my 4 millimeter, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, rivet. Okay, I'm going to need some cutting oil, like that. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to put on my gloves. I'm a real big fan of just not getting these chemicals on my body. So here's my washer, and I'm going to go ahead and mark this off so I can have four equal sides. And then within those four equal sides, I'm going to drill out the holes. So this just gives me a rough idea, like what's quarter, so I can see it. Okay. Now that I have it marked off, I'm going to clamp it down.
And then I'm going to use my center punch. And this is an automatic center punch. You just push it down and it, and it has a spring inside of it. It gets loaded and it releases. So. Now that I have my starter holds, I'm going to take my, uh, I gotta go up in progressions of drill bits, so I'm gonna start from the smallest, and I'm gonna end at 5.30 seconds, so, um, you see the holes, I'm gonna back out a little bit so you can, uh, see the drill in process here. So now you can see more. I'm going to do start with the smallest drill bit I have first. So let's go ahead and do this 564ths bit. I'm going to do a little bit of a cut in fluid on each one of those holes. Now I'm going to go up another drill bit size. So let's go to uh, let's go to one eighth. There, I'm gonna go up another step and then go to uh, 964th. And then from there, I'm going to go to the final diameter, which is uh, 530 seconds. Uh, there we go. That should be all of it right there. Uh, I'm gonna get just clean this up a little. Alright, let's see if uh, the rivet will fit through these holes. 
Um, don't forget to always wear your safety glasses when you do these things. Really important stuff here. Okay, here's my rivet. Okay. Let's see if it goes to these holes. Yep, perfect. It fits nicely right there. That one's going to need a little bit of leaven, so totally fine. Push that back out. Actually, it actually went all the way through. So, same thing on that side, it went all the way through. And I'm checking the holes, so I don't want to fight with it when I'm trying to push it in. And that's it. So we have all the four holes done, the rivet fits, and then we're going to have to cut this now on those lines. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to cut this with uh, this cutoff saw here. Cut off wheel. Uh, let's go ahead and prepare this cut off tool. I got to um, put a little bit of uh, air tool oil in here. So I put like four drops right before I use it every time. And then uh, There. I'm going to put on my glasses. I'm going to clamp the piece down. I also like to use a respirator because, um, you know, there are little tiny particulates that are flying around, so I recommend you also do that.
so it might be a little hard to hear me because the air compressor is going, but that's it. All four pieces are cut off. These are going in the back. Riveted in. I'll show you. So now that we have uh, the holes ready, the back end's cut. These are the uh, pieces I just cut. I'm going to take my um, rivet gun, and this is a uh, this is the uh, this these uh, mandrels they're called. They screw in and screw out like that, and they are attached to the gun. You just unscrew the one that matches your size. So this is a uh, this is for the four millimeter. This blue head. So make sure to close it like that to screw it in. Sorry. Okay, so that's all the way in. Take my uh, rivet, right, and I put it in like that. See what happened? Long part in that hole. Then I take my the back. This is going to be where I go with this here. So that's pushing really well. This is what's going to happen on this side over here. Okay. So I put this into the hole over right here. Make sure the back is still lined up. And I'm holding it. I'm just going to like. Breaks it right off. It's the center part right there, and that's the first rivet. But it needs those things to hold it in place on that side. So put another one on, and then we're good to go. I'm going to repeat this for all four. All right, and uh, let's see how far we get. My camera is about to cut off. Let's see if we get to do another one before it cuts off. If not, you get the idea. Just. Do the rest for the re the other four holds. Second hole.
up. see what's happening here is uh, the diameter of these things create a bit of an issue getting um, plenty of space to like slide one of these on and once this is on it kind of like doesn't want to turn all right so come on baby That's gonna work. I'll give it a try. Let's... Yeah, you know what? That hole needs to be uh, drilled out a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. That's it, we did it. So this is now going to be the orientation and we can just hang them like that. All right, so I'm sorry, did you see that? Okay, this is the up and now we're done. Cool. We're gonna put the back back on, so let's do that. So we have, this is the back side of the uh, MDF. That's the markings for the top, so. This has all these little tabs on the side here. I need to bend them in, make sure the back slides into position. That's down. Let's go ahead and uh, just squeeze these in.
so what I think will happen in the future, right, moving forward, is uh, instead of like drilling, instead of cutting all those uh, pieces, to make my life easier, I'm just going to probably buy really, really small washers and just drill one hole per washer so that way I can cut down on production time because I don't want to really spend too much time doing this. So that's it. Those are the picture frames. They're super strong and they're good to go. Hope you liked that picture frame reuse, uh, minimize waste kind of uh, project we just did just now. Uh, just taking hardware that's already there and moving it over and, and re-anchoring it with uh, things that we have around the shop. Uh, if you really like this video, it's useful to you. If you're just up at 3 a.m. in the morning and you have nothing else to do and you're watching this because it's therapeutic, I'm Zen, you're Zen, let's be Zen together. Hey, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. I make a lot of like how to do things yourself and save yourself lots of money videos. Also do a lot of like podcasts, audio blogs, video blogs about philosophy, life, love, relationships in general. And um, you know what? Just go ahead and send me a message on Motion Design Studio on Instagram, Motion Design Studio, Facebook. And you can go ahead and find me on Facebook. I'm Lex Peters, okay? Thanks again, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. I'm trying to get to a thousand likes, all right? And check out my uh, Amazon wish list. If you like what I'm doing, I hope that you can support me. All I need is some tools to help me do a better job, and I always share whatever I learn with you. So I'm all about open source. Knowledge should be free and belong to everyone and should be shared. And whatever I learn, you learn. So the more power I have, the more power you have. So just empower me by checking out my Amazon wish list. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. You are the best. Hope to see you again on the next episode of This Damn House.